And I didn't take that from my assignment. But I knew I wouldn't be able to sing and minister as well. So I just bless the Lord for his goodness on today. And uh, right now, I'm going to pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you and I pray you for your goodness and your mercy, God. Thank you, God, for there's none like you, God. Thank you, God, for being my healer, Jehovah Rapha, on today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us here safe on today, God. Lord, thank you, oh God, for holding back the enemy, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for binding up death, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you today, oh God, that you're good and your mercy can do it forever, oh God. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. You're God and you're God. You're God and you will always be God. From the beginning to the end, you're God. Lord, we praise you. We worship you, God. We magnify your holy name, God. Lord, we yield to you today, God. We ask that you forgive us of our sins of today, oh God. Send them of all unrighteousness today, oh God. Created us a clean heart, oh God. And then you are right spirit in us, oh God. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Perfect, steadfast life that illuminates every person. He came into the world 
And though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. It did not know him. He came to that which belonged to him, to his own, his domain, creation, things, the world, and they who were his own did not receive him and did not welcome him. But to as many as did receive and welcome him, he gave the authority, power, privilege, rights to become the children of God that is to those who believe in and here to trust in and rely on his name. Who owe their birth neither to bloods nor to the will of the flesh that of physical impulse nor to the will of man that of a natural father but to God. They are born of God. And in 14 it says, and the word Christ became flesh, human incarnate and tabernacle, fixed his tent of flesh, lived a while among us and we actually saw his glory, his honor, his majesty. Such glory as an only begotten son receives from his father. Full of grace Favor, loving kindness, and truth. Glory yes, to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. For my uh, subject tonight, I have know your word. Know your God. You don't know your word, you do not know God. Yes, right. You can't know God unless you know the word. Amen. You don't spend no time in the word, you don't know God. Yes, right. You can't get to know a person in the natural without spending time around them. So if you don't spend no time around them, you don't know nothing about them. You may have heard of them, but you don't know them. So in order to know someone, you got to take the time and spend in their presence on, to get to know on. them. Because we're supposed to be discerning spirits. How do you discern a spirit if you're never around it? You need to search these things out. Everything that look holy is not holy. Preach. Because even Satan presented himself when everybody else came before Jesus. So did Satan. Yes. So don't think that everybody in the church is holy because they're not. That's right. They are yeah. not. That's just fact. Yeah. The author of this book is John the Beloved, also known as one of the sons of Thunder, Thunder, Zebedee's son. This is the fourth gospel, and it stresses Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And if you believe on him, you can be saved and be one of his sons. But you kind of believe in him. Yeah. If you believe, you can have life, eternal life through Christ Jesus by faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. You must believe that God, what God says in his word. John wanted all to know that Jesus is the son of God. I'm just a forerunner, but I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Come on. I'm not even worthy to tie his shoelaces. Yes. I'm not the one. Yes. Many people want to be the one, but you're not the one that God called to that assignment. Yes. So you try to mimic and act like that's what God called you to. But he did, you get ready to get in more trouble than you could ever get because you can step right into something that will take your life. Amen. You got to wait on the Lord, hear God. He will tell you when it's time for you to move. And not only that, he will tell the shepherd over you. God is not doing all this because you is not talking to the shepherd. Why would he tell you and then put an overseer of the shepherd in the house? No, he's going to tell the shepherd. And all you, he will confirm now what you are saying. Amen. But know this, it's nothing new under the sun. The shepherd already know. Amen. Especially when you have a relationship with God and Amen. you know theology, you got to get down on your knees. But what we don't want to do, we don't want to pray no more. We don't. We want to watch TV. We want to do not Nintendo and we want to watch all these this stuff of uh, technology and stuff on Facebook and this and that. And it has its place. But you got to do your due diligence to God. God first and all these things. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. If you don't seek God, how are you going to know his will? Amen. You're not going to know his word and you're not going to have a relationship with God. John was an apostle. He was a disciple whom Jesus loved. He was close to Jesus. We'll clarify for some and inform for others some terms that I feel we ought to get a full understanding of the Logos word. Logos means the word in Greek. Yes. Logos means reason or revelation. Yes. As we look at this verse, it tells us in the beginning was the word Logos, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Not if the word was with God in the beginning. Now, yes. if it was with him in the beginning, guess what? It there was no beginning and no ending. Then the world was face to face with God. Yes. Face to face. 
It was with him from the beginning. Amen. God was the word from the beginning. And the word is eternal. So where was the beginning and where is the end? Come on, come on. If it's eternal. Yeah, Verse 2. Repeat. It asks, he was in the beginning with God. He was with God from the very beginning. Who is this he? The word is the he. The word was with God from the beginning. And also the word was God. Because God is the word made flesh. Yes. The word is the complete revelation of Christ to man. There's nothing missing from the word that man needs to live holy unto the Lord. Every provision God has left for us is in the Bible, which is his word for us to embrace and to have a relationship with him, him through his word and prayer. Amen. 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 And we have a fellowship one with another. You can't stay home because the game is on. And you see, well, the pastor, the game is on for the pastor also. And, and for those that sacrifice and come also, but they have a greater love for the things of God. You got to know what is more important to you. That game cannot give you eternal life. Amen. 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 The, the word of God is how he communicates to us and with us. The word is the expression of God's mind. Jesus was present with God when all things began. He was always with God from the very beginning. Remember, he was the word. Amen. God spoke the world into existence and it obeyed. Yes. And it obeyed. But now he speaks to us and he got to tell us over and over and over in his word. Preach. If you're reading Preach. the word, that's God talking to you. Yes. If you're praying, that's you talking to him. So if you are talking to God and you're reading the word and you see all we know him and he tells you what not to do and you continue to do that very same thing, you've got a disobedient spirit, a spirit of rebellion. Yeah, that's right. And you're not trying to get it right. Sometimes we do struggle with some things more than others. But when God sees your heart and you cry out to God and ask God for help, God will rescue you. He will come to help you. How I know? Because he did it for me. I didn't have everything together. As a matter of fact, I didn't have very, very few things of anything together. Amen. Amen. But what I had to do is get rid of my own past itself. Amen. Amen. I had to get rid of the vulgar. I had to get rid of the cursing. I had to get rid of it. And I and if anybody else uh, is really trying to get close to God, you gonna have to get rid of it too, because He's gonna respect the persons. And so one thing about my past is I don't wait for anybody else to tell it, because nobody can tell my past like me. So if you try to tell my past, you gonna leave stuff out and say, "No, darling, you really didn't know me. I did a whole lot more than that." So let me tell my own story because I'm the author, but God is the finisher. Amen. So Amen. In, the, in, the, in between time, when you give that thing to God, God will help you. He'll deliver you. Mm -hmm. yeah. The word is the expression of God's mind. Jesus was present. God spoke the world into existence, and it obeyed. But yet we are hard-headed and stubborn. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, overseer can say the same thing over and over, week after week, week after week. And the word of God, you can read the word and you see it in there over and over, over and over, and you keep doing the very same thing. Well, by and by, you're going to get a different result. It says that you keep doing the same thing over and over, getting the same result. That's insanity. Yes. But we got to change. We got to be transformed. Well, our mind has to be renewed. Our, and our mind has to be transformed. He has to create in us a clean heart. And renew a right spirit in us. Yes. He said, our, our heart is deceitfully wicked. So if it's deceitfully wicked, there's no good thing in our flesh. Nothing. Nothing. Right. I don't care how good, I don't care how long you've been to school, I don't care how many human <laughs> wigs you got, how many weaves you wear, there's nothing good. Amen. You still got to obey God. Amen. The Amen. word of God is true. The word of God took on human form and lived among men as Jesus, and yet he was part of the divine always. Amen. He emptied himself of divinity to go through what we would go through. He could feel as any other man.
The Logos word of God is what keeps and sustains us from the tricks of Satan. And many times from ourselves. Sometimes we are our own worst enemy. Yeah. We get in our own way. Free. God tells us what Free. to do. But oh no, I, I already know I'm grown. I don't care about Pastor Pat. They're not telling me what to do. Well, why you got your name on the roll here? If can't nobody tell you nothing to do, why don't you go somewhere else? Because you must honor who God sets over you. And how can he pray for you and pray over you if you dishonor the vessel that God has put over the house? Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. I said, we got to get it right. We got to repent. And we got to get it right. All of us. All of us. I don't care if it's me too. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Bishop come to me. I said, I ain't doing that. I don't want to know. Why don't she do it? Why don't she ask her kid? But if I was just as wrong, the two left she was, I was wrong. Amen. That's a rebellious spirit. Yes. You ain't going nowhere like that. Because just like I was seeing all that, you think she didn't know it? That's why she didn't promote me. She set my happy butt right down. <laughs> and you know what? She didn't move until I yielded my flesh. And I had to humble myself and go, and I had to tell her, um, I wish if I said some things that I really shouldn't have said. And I was mad at you. I told the truth. <coughs> I said, honestly, I said, I still got some more repenting to do. Just let me sit for a minute. Because you got to be careful what positions you rush and, and jump in. And did you know that you, that fresh flesh is not subject yet to that word? You're going to have some problems because you're going to stumble a lot. You'll stumble that way, but I'm telling you, once you receive Christ as your Savior, He will help you. He knows we are not perfect, but guess what? But every day that we spend with the Lord, and the closer we get to Him, the clearer the closer and closer Preach. to Him. He said, if I be lifted up, that I'll draw all men unto me. If I be lifted up, He said, and if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray. Preach. Amen. And turn from that wicked way yes. and seek my face. So then what I hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Why is the land sick? Because we're sick. We're still in sin. Yes, yes. Lord. The world. I said we feel like that we got to put on all these charades and shenanigans just to get people to come to church. The devil is a whole lie. Come on, That's come a on. lie. If the word of God don't draw on, what you got to do to keep them? Come on. Come on. The word of God has to do it. The anointing that comes from that word has to be the drawing force. Come on. It's never about us. It's the Holy Ghost, the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost that draws. Amen. But what we do, we get saved and we stop. We don't think that we have to get sanctified. But many times when we get saved, there's still residue on us. And we won't allow God to sanctify us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We won't do it. Because we, we got it all together. Two of you, you ain't got nothing together. You just thought you were a baby in Christ on milk. Yes. Yes. The Bible said that don't think how yourself in your heart. Because you get ready to fall. You get ready to come down. Don't think higher of yourself than your own. All things were made by him. God made from nothing everything. We can't push out our chest, but this is the work of God. Come and on. he gets all come the credit. Come on. He gets all the glory. Come on. No matter what is growing, come on. what is growing together ministry. It's all God. Come on. It's all God. Not God is church. using a vessel Hallelujah. that he Not knows he church. can honor that will be Glory to the word, and he will be Hallelujah. humble and obedient, and his head won't get puffed up. God can't Hallelujah. use everybody in that capacity. Glory. They get puffed up, and you can't tell them nothing. Hallelujah. You're well, right. I, I Amen. Don't the other side. Well, I was born and raised right on the other side of that railroad track. Amen. Hey, Lewis, and that's why I was born and raised behind the depot. That's what that store was called, the depot. I was born and raised there until I was 17, and I left here. Like, like somebody pretty, I got married, dropped out of high school, got married, married my husband back there, and we've been married this big 56 years. Hey. And I'm telling you, it's nothing but God. It was nothing but God. Now, don't what I would think. <laughs> I was a pistol. I'm going to tell you. I was a mess. And neither one of us was saved because we were so young. But I give God thanks today that from the way that my mother taught us, 
mother taught us that if you get married, you stay with your husband. Now, that's what you better not come back home because she's going to send you right back. She's going to send you back. Mama going to send you back. So I thank God all things. Give God thanks sincerely. Everything we have is because God gave it to us. Everything we have is because God made us. Every gift we have, God gave. So we shall all thank God for his goodness, his kindness, his love, his patience, and his righteousness, his holiness, his salvation, his grace, his mercy, his forgiveness, his thoughtfulness, his provision, his protection, his greatness, majesty, his sovereignty, his omnipotence, his omnipresence, his faithfulness toward us, his intercession for us, his joy, his very presence. From hour to hour. This Hallelujah. is the hour to eat the whole roll. This is the hour to eat the whole roll. You can't pick and choose what you're going to do. I don't like that part of the word. So I'm going to go to another book. Because I'm not doing that. You don't get to pick and choose. You're not the author Come of this on. book. It is finished. What is here, it is here. And it's eternal. Glory. Glory. We better get serious about the word of God. It is what will keep us, lead us, guide us, teach us, enable us, and strength us, fortify us. It will protect us. It will give us strategies against the enemy. The word will sanctify you from the inside out. The thing of it is we try to get sanctified from the outside in. But we want to dress the part and look sanctified, but you sanctified because it ain't nothing changed in your heart. You're still doing the same thing you were doing first. How you know? Because I don't see a lot of them around here. Go to church on Sunday, you run running around, rolling around in the floor, just like a fool. But at the end of the day, I already seen you doing the week, boo, and you won't say it then. So don't, don't play that with me, because if you play with me, I said, play with me if you want to. I said, I will call you out. Don't play with me. Yes, yes. Because this is serious. This is your soul. Great. And if we do Great. not do our part, God is going to hold that blood on our hands. If we don't tell you, you, baby, you can do better. you got to do better. Yes. You've got to change. God ain't going to accept it from you because he's a just God. He's a holy God. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. He didn't say, yeah. he didn't say be Buddhist. He didn't say, be, he, he didn't say none of that. He didn't say it. He didn't say, be Lutheran. He didn't say none of that. Those are religions. That mess is made by man. Yes. And they cause division. Come on, come on. I can't go to that church because they do this. It ain't got nothing to do with you. How many churches you have? That's right. Stay out of people's business. Let God do what he's doing. Right. Let Amen. God do what he's doing. Let God be God. Amen. And if you're not going to be a help, don't be a hindrance. Touch not my anointed and do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My job and no harm. Jesus. You better keep your, your mouth off of God's vessels. Amen. The word of God will teach you respect for God's vessels. And you'll get busy on your own post. Where you at half the time, you ain't on your own post. So how do you know so much about what overseer is supposed to be doing? You don't even know what you're supposed to be doing. Because cool. I don't see you anyway. The word of God will cause you to stop lying. The word of God will shut down the clicks in his house. The yes. word of God will cause you to get in your lane and stop weaving in and out of traffic. The word of God will cause you to help your sister and brother that is in Come need. On. The word of God will make you want to live right. The word of God will lead you to pray for one another. It will cause you to care about winning souls for the kingdom. It will bring conviction and an urgency to repent. This is only just a few things, but clearly reading the word and still stay as rude, nasty as ever brings no change. And the kingdom suffers. You are a hindrance or either you are help. But you, you know the difference. The church gets a bad rap because we're not, we will not get real with God. Denial is a bad place to live. You must read the word with a mind to get close to God. God, change my walk, my talk, my thinking. Change everything in me, God, until it pleases you. God, I can't do it without your help. Help me to do what you call me to do as I should do. Lord, I want to be real. I'm tired of being in church. Wondering who know my game. Ashamed to come to the altar. Yep. But dying inside. Sin ravaging in your life. Home tore up from the floor. Up, and you acting like you got it like that. You don't have nothing like that. Because you know what? I see you outside the church. Today I promise you God cares about all of us. Hallelujah. No matter what we are going through. None of us are exempt. We Glory. all go through trial. But we serve a loving God.
God. We serve a kind God, a compassionate God. And he's just. He's holy and nothing unholy is going to enter into the kingdom. Nothing. He just wants us to strip off everything that we know in our hearts is not God. Amen. Amen. Are holy and yet we are in offices serving. Even if you're not sin, if you are not sin is still sin. Repent and turn. God won't chase you down because of all of us know our areas of weakness. If you choose to continue to lie to yourself, that is between you and God. Mm -hmm. Be for sure your salvation is insecure. I do not matter. It doesn't matter who is beside you. You go to God for yourself. This is not about nobody else. This is your relationship with God. It's personal. But God wants to free you today. He wants to free you today. Yeah. He wants to free you tonight. To heal you. To give you joy. To comfort you. To give you eternal life today. Will you just give God a chance? He won't fail you. He loves Hallelujah. you way too much. In Christ was life. And that life was the light of men. Jesus is the only source of true life. Uh -huh. Only when you come to Christ are you in the light. And no longer a partaker of darkness. Darkness represents sick, uh, sin and death. Darkness represents sin and death. It's a danger to see. Yes. The, the darkness can't put out the light. God yes. is in control of the light. And he has the power over Satan and darkness. Yes. But we come to the light. We can see clearly we are in need of a Savior. Oh, Satan right. wants you to think all is well. Darkness will lead you to hell if you do not find the light of salvation before God comes back to you. God oh, wants you to receive that light, that eternal light of salvation. He stands with his arms wide open, waiting for you to come Preach. and just ask. Amen. He just wants you to come and ask. Open your mouth and just ask. You don't have to beg for it. It is a free gift. It is a gift. It doesn't come from man. I can't carry your hand and you get saved. I ain't got no salvation for you. That's not the way I got it. And you won't be getting it that way either. You got to open your mouth and confess your sins to God. He is the Savior. And he will save you. He will set you free. He will do it. He will strengthen you. He will lift you up. He will encourage your heart. Yes. He will do it. Hallelujah. He will give you courage. Even yes. when you say, Lord, I don't feel like I'm worth nothing. I don't feel like I can do nothing. I ain't never felt like I was nothing. That's how I grew up because that's all I ever heard was that you can't do nothing. You're crazy. That's what I heard my whole life. Amen. That's oh, what oh, I heard. Oh, 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 so that's my story. That's what I heard. But today, but God sees me differently today. God don't see me as a failure. He don't see me as someone that can't do nothing. He said, I can do all things now. through Christ who strengthens me. Oh, we worship your Lord. He's able. We worship God your Lord. Is able. We worship He's able. your Lord. He's able. We worship your Lord. You want to know God? We worship your Lord. Get in the word. Get in the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we study Hallelujah. the word. We worship your Lord. Amen. People were able to know we God fully after Lord. Jesus' birth because he was visible and tangible in Christ. We worship so, your Lord. If you Lord. want to know God, get in the word. Yes. Start Hallelujah. to pray. Start to pray. When the altar call comes and I watch overseer pray over and over call, altar call. The altar's open. And I know it'd be people in here hurting to the bone and they will not get up. Pride is just like the sin of rebellion. Preach. Because I, I know some of you. Uh, I mean, it's the same thing if it's me. Jesus. I'm, I'm not exempt from nothing. It hits me first. Yes. Whatever I preach, it hits me first. <laughs> and Amen. God, God, God's going to get me too. Amen. So me too. I'm telling you, you got to see me God. Too. You got to see God. Jesus. Jesus was completely human and completely. This, uh, divine. We must apply the logos word to our everyday living, not just on Sunday. Yes. And with that, with that, study your word. Study your word. Amen. Get in your word. Woo! Go Get back right. to prayer and fasting. Amen. Get back if you want to see supernatural miracles. Come back. 
to the house of God. It's going to take more than say, well, I didn't, I didn't eat nothing sweet today. You got to give it up. Your body got to suffer. You got to let that flesh die. Amen. You don't see supernatural miracles happening and you don't give up nothing. You got some battle scars, I promise you. But you walk in that level of anointing, you been through something. So you be real clear that if you are not willing to give up nothing, God can't bless you with what he has for you until you are willing to do what you need to do. Those are prerequisites that you must meet prior to God giving you what he has for you. You will miss it if you don't do those prerequisites. God bless you. And they have a smile upon you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.